Hello, in this video I will show you how to use shards and clusters group of properties. And uh, in previous video I show you uh, what this demolition distance means. It allows you to define demolition area around co collision point. So shards and cluster properties allows you to define what will happen with this demolition demolished fragments. So first property is shards and as you can see it measures in percents and it uh, defines area uh, starting from the contact point to the edge of the demolished area uh, so if I set here 100% all 100% shards inside um, this um, inside the motion distance area they will be turned into uh, regular fragments and will be simulated separately if I will set let's say 50% then only 50% uh, starting from the collision point will be converted into uh, fragments and the rest shards will be clusterized by this minimum amount and maximum amount inside cluster groups. This allows you to create, so uh, if you, let's say, will demolish your um, cluster here, you will have a bunch of regular simple fragments around collision point, then you will have uh, small clusters around these demolished shards, and then finally you will have big clusters from the original cluster. But I guess it's better to show you. So I have these uh, four examples here, and I set uh, shard area, uh, at the first example it's 100, here I set it to 50, here it's 10, and for this one I set it also 10, but also I turn on the shard demolition, which means that uh, when uh, shard will convert into simple fragment, by default it's turned off, which means it will not be possible to demolish the shard, but if you will turn on the shard demolition, uh, it will also be possible to demolish every shard uh, in runtime as well. So let's take a look how it works. Okay, so and uh, here, let me get closer. So here you can see this collision, and uh, as you can see. Here my uh, clusters from original cluster, and everything between them was converted into simple fragments because my shard area here is set to 100%, so I can select every fragment. And also you can see that the demolition type for this fragment is set to none because I have turned off shard demolition here. And in this example, uh, you can see that I have my shard area 50%. So only this from this from this collision point, uh, only about 50% uh, shards uh, were converted into simple fragments, and then you can see there were created several smaller clusters. So these clusters were created because I have here my minimum and maximum amount defined to six and seven. So it means that it will create approximately from six to seven clusters using all these three shards and only 50, 50 in, in, in the range from uh, 0 to 100 only around 50% of, sh not, not percent of shard, but uh, radius 50% uh, distance from collision point to, the eight, to this edge uh, everything inside this radius will be converted into simple fragments and in this example I have my distance set to I forgot 10% so you can see it's even smaller here uh, so very small amount of uh, shards converted into regular fragments and the rest of the shards converted into clusters and uh, so this is how this uh, property this shard area property works and in this case I also set it to 10% here but also I set here shard demolition on so a second no oh, sorry I forgot to turn it on here okay and uh, I think I actually will increase my shard area maybe to 30% just so I will get more shards so let's try again So here you can see again my original, uh, these two clusters from my original cluster. Everything between them is demolition distance, 
and 25% from collision point converted into regular fragments here then the rest turned into smaller clusters so if I will select this fragment here you can see it's the motion type set to runtime which means that I can simulate all these fragments further and they will be demolished according to this mesh demolition properties here so here you can see that I can break them even further well I guess my limitation, my solidity is too high, maybe I need to move them upper okay so uh, in this case you can demolish your cluster into smaller clusters, into simple fragments and even this simple fragment also could be demolished even further but uh, I guess that will create a lot of fragments so uh, use this property uh, very carefully okay that was a shared group of properties uh, and now actually you already uh, understood how it works this cluster group of properties but just want to show you so again I have this uh, four examples here and uh, I set uh, as you can see I set my shard area to 10% for every cluster here only difference is this minimum and maximum amount so for this one I set it to from 2 to 2 <laughs> which means that it will create only two clusters and uh, so when you increase this min uh, if you increase maximum amount it will pick some random value in this range from minimum to maximum amount in this case you can get different amount of clusters every time and for this one I set it to 6 to 6 which means I will get exactly 6 clusters in this case it's from 2 to 9 and for this one I also set it from 2 to 9 but also I turn on this demolishable which means that all this cluster which I will which will be created in between of the original clusters inside the motion distance area it will it also will be possible to demolish them further because by default they will not be demolished demolishable okay let's start preview mode play mode Okay, so now you can see that okay, this is my original cluster pieces, and here you can see I have these two big uh, clusters inside the demolition distance area because I set it from uh, exactly value of two. Also, there is the small uh, clusters which were left. Uh, in this case, I set it to nine, and again you can see that I have I set it to six. So again, I you can see that it's approximately six clusters around this collision um, point, and a bunch of uh, regular fragments. And in this example, I set it to from two to nine, and as you can see, there's about three, four, five, six. Okay, about seven fragments seven clusters I mean and as you can see uh, since the demolishable was off the motion type for them set to none which means I cannot demolish them further they will be like this um, they, it, it will not be possible to demolish them and in this example here I set it to again I also set it to from 2 to 9 so and I think some clusters already demolished here so let me start again okay so actually let me turn off these clusters here so here you can see my uh, clusters which I got inside the demolition distance area and uh, since uh, they have this demolishable on uh, their demolition type set to one time which means I can demolish them again and probably they will be demolished right now when they will fall down okay some of them already were demolished but again I can hit them with this rock or maybe simulate them somehow and they will demolish it and as you can see they also were demolished it to a bunch of smaller cluster because for this cluster which I just demolished uh, there were collision point here and since it get the same shards and cluster properties from the from its parent it also has a shard area to 10% and this is why we get this a couple of these fragments here and uh, since minimum and maximum amounts and set from 2 to 9 also get this uh, two clusters here so this is how this uh, shards and cluster group of properties works it may be confusing for 
uh, when you start to use it but um, uh, <coughs> you need just to spend uh, maybe 10 20 minutes to get into this way to work with a cluster demolition and then it'll be okay for you okay i guess that's it uh, thank you for watching